Can you imagine towering skyscrapers in an ancient Roman setup? Well, the Romans could have added that in their design, but why didn't they? Considering they had invented concrete, mastered the arch which distributed immense weight, built multi-story apartment blocks called insulae, up to seven or eight floors high. They had even built domes like the Pantheon. Then what stopped them from making Rome look like New York City? Let's look into that. First of all, their construction methods, while good, weren't perfect for true skyscrapers. Roman concrete was great for domes and arches. However, it wasn't reinforced with steel like modern skyscrapers. This greatly reduced the strength of these buildings, making them unsafe. Plus, many upper floors were built from wood, making them flammable and structurally weak. And to think of it, there were no elevators, so climbing stairs would have been exhausting. In fact, in ancient Rome, the higher your apartment, the poorer your status. The wealthy lived on the lower floors or in vast countryside villas. Also, Roman cities were horizontally expansive, not vertical like modern metropolises. Land was the measure of wealth and power. Spaces were meant to impress from the ground and not from the sky. And politically, emperors wanted Rome to feel open and powerful. Even regulations discouraged vertical growth after multiple insulae collapsed. Emperor Augustus limited building heights to around 70 feet, which is about 20 meters. Also, population density wasn't quite the same as modern megacities. While Rome was crowded, land outside the city center wasn't as scarce. Building outward was often simpler and cheaper than building upwards. Like and subscribe for more ancient history.